suppose at your level at your area suppose if the things are over that is your uh, sales capacity whatever uh, you could able to sell so completely if it is over so then so uh, you will find an alternative opportunity or alternative place or alternative market to sell your sell your goods got it so now that so any everywhere you can't go and sell it so therefore sometimes you may take the uh, help of your uh, another person so that may be in the form of agency yeah so now because and directly you will not do the profit share so because you have uh, invested you have taken all the efforts to reach one level so now suddenly if someone it comes at uh, joins uh, this time and suddenly if i give the share of profit so then it will not be a fight so therefore usually we'll go for like agency relationship so therefore here the here the concept is my difference ye one person will send the goods to another person so he will send the goods to another person he will send the goods to another person to sell on his behalf so he will send the goods to sell on his behalf so he will make a sale he will make a sale but he will just act as a agent he will just act as a agent so he is not the owner so just goods will be sent so whatever happens damage everything etc so who has to take care sender correct so in this consignment the party sender is called as consignor the party sender is called as consignor sender is called as consignor receiver is called as consignee correct so consignee what he does is like mediator agency that's all so if suppose if this is the sales customer customer so only he will make a sale he will make a sale he will collect the money and he will return to consignor he will return to consignor this is how it will run this how it will run so that means here a the parties to the consignment are called as consignor and consignee consignor means or or means always originator or means originator starting point yeah consignee last is double e e for end e for end so therefore even in the bill of exchange also draw your or yeah draw e last party draw e is the last party like that o are always originator starting e e at the ending point now the parties to the consignment is called as consignor and consignee so as consignor is the owner consignor is the owner and consignee is a agent that's it consignee is the agent got it the relationship between this two party the relationship between this two party is the relationship between two party is consign is between this two party is uh, agency relationship agency relationship yeah agency relationship so this is what the just a chapter overview agency relationship got it now the same thing let us go it now when a when a sends goods to b when a sends goods to b correct so when a sends goods to b when a sends goods to b on consignment basis correct so that means yesterday while well, inventory uh, chapter my dear friends i said from the date of procurement from the from, sorry from the place of procurement till uh, place of sale till the point of sale where, from where the commercial production starts so in yesterday inventory till uh, cop cost of production in the last machine thrown out the product till that time is called as a uh, cost of production which is direct expenditure correct like that here also my friends so he is a consignor who is actually owner of the goods owner but he is just an agent he is just a agent suppose here he will buy the goods so first what what and all he will do he will buy the goods at he it will come to his location so thereafter either to uh, through truck either to through truck so he will send the goods to consignee correct so now so at the time of sending my friends at the time of sending the goods he can send at he can send at either uh, look out because in order to hide in order to hide the uh, whatever profit making by a in order to hide that he may sell at invoice price or even at cost even at cost correct so sent price sent price can be so a can be sent to b at invoice price or he can send at 
you can set it cost only and you can say this is what cost so plus 20 percent you add and make a sale correct whatever orders given by a that b has to follow because he is his agent correct so therefore since he is he is acting for an agent acting as an agent he will uh, he will work for remuneration so that remuneration what we call it is remuneration what we call commission he will work for since it's an agency so here we have to give the commission correct what are types of commission etc etc is there that let us discuss later for time being let us understand the story he will send the goods so here what and all he will do so here whatever he incurred the goods whatever he incurred the cost all are called as direct expenditure direct expenditure so what normal might be there direct expenditure so purchases purchases and loading unloading loading unloading uh, then for this for this transportation for this transportation so then transit insurance transit insurance etc so these are all put together is called as direct expenditure correct now in this agency in this consignment business who will make a sale who will make a sale Sale will be made by B. Correct? Mm -hmm. So he will make a sale. He will make a sale. So therefore, so point of sale is not at the time of at A. So as a owner, I have to send the goods to B. So till B, whatever I incur, till it is reaching to B, whatever expenditure is incurred, completely this will be in the category of direct expenditure. Direct expenditure. Once goods reach to B, thereafter not to make it sell whatever is incurred. So from there it is. Uh, in the direct expenditure from there it is indirect expenditure are you understanding slowly now so here in case of direct expenditure my difference look out at the side at the time of sending the goods from a to b a so look out since this is not a sale correct huh? this is not a sale this is not a sale so therefore if the goods are transferred if the goods are transporting i have to issue the document issue the document so i can't issue the invoice because if the goods risk and reward both title is transferred then only invoice can be issued correct so therefore since i can't issue the invoice so in order to aid or in order to accommodate or in order to accomplish with accompany with the goods transferred from a to b a to be that is consignor to consignee for the transport purpose so uh, it is not invoice but in the form of invoice on a document we will issue that the document is called as pro forma invoice pro forma invoice so this invoice can be sent issued at cost or invoice price goods can be sent at cost or invoice price at whatever its end price is there for that price this document will be given Correct. So that means a document given by or document issued from consignor to consignee for transportation of goods is called as pro forma invoice. Correct. So now, so now look out. A has purchased the goods. Uh, he has incurred some direct expenditure called loading, uh, loading, unloading, transportation, transit insurance, etc. Suppose if the transit insurance, transit insurance. Suppose if A has said, look out. Uh, so I will send the goods he had loaded. So then A has said, so go and collect from B. Go and collect from B. Consignor said, so after delivering the goods, collect from B. Anyway, uh, B is my agent. So when uh, he is paying the money, he will uh, take a or Anyway, we are going to refund. Correct? Suppose if A has said. Yeah, I said at the time of uh, loading the goods itself, if you pay the transportation, it is a his expenditure. Correct? Suppose if we say go and collect from B, or B said uh, I'm sending the goods, go and collect from A. Go and collect from A. That is, if is if they said to go and collect from the receiver of on delivery. Correct? So that's what we call it as uh, freight to pay. That's what we call freight to pay. Freight to pay. That means it is not yet paid. It is to pay. To pay as of now outstanding. Correct? So that means who uh, the delivery destination uh, place we have to receive the uh, transportation. Even though I have sent the goods, suppose if I say go and collect from uh, collect from him. That means so if the goods are delivered to you, then instead of me, you are paying the expenditure. That's some meaning to keep in mind. So now, so here, so the document which is sent by consignor to consignee is called as what? Is called as Document sent by consignor to consignee is called as pro forma invoice. Correct? Now, imagine our goods are uh, goods are uh, reached to B. Correct? So, uh, special transactions I will discuss later. So, just I am going with the one flow of transaction at a normal good hope. So, now goods are reached to B. Correct? Now, here if goods are reached to B, 
So now if goods are reached to B directly, that is fine. There only one transport. Suppose here it is not uh, directly B. It is, let us call this as one destination called some port or whatever it might be, one place. It is one place, but uh, from there still uh, B's destination is still more. So therefore it has to reach to B here. It has to reach to B here. So therefore, from here, what uh, what will happen? B will come and take the B will come and take the delivery. B will come and take the delivery. So therefore, so the destination is not here now. That is a B place is not here. So B place is here. Correct? So therefore, so from this place to from this place, so B has to take one more transport. B has to take one more transport, and he has to carry. And he has to carry. So therefore, so this is even though expenditure will go till now, it is not a direct expenditure stage is not only here, correct? So that is from A to A to B. This is what direct expenditure, direct expenditure place. Therefore, what is incurred by A till goods reach to B, it is direct expenditure. Once goods are reached to B, from here in after, it is indirect, indirect expenditure so from here it is indirect expenditure got it so therefore once reached once goods are reached to be thereafter suppose if the uh, goods storage rent correct uh, so selling expenses everything is a uh, uh, indirect expenses but up to transportation charges so here also in transportation charges he has to incur wages that's the loading unloading transit insurance etc etc he has to incur that also will be very much included in a direct expenditure part correct uh? so now now my dear friends here, who will make the sale here? All, all are made by the, uh, here the transactions. Look out, I have sent the goods, for example, let's make 1000 uh, units are sent. 1000 units are sent. So I have incurred my expenditure, therefore I know that whatever expenditure incurred, that details I have. So that for that alone, I have passed the entry. Got it? Now, now goods are reached to be, let us make this uh, uh, some units. So 1000 units are reached. So from here, uh, I have sent the goods, that's all. So that means in order to record, in order to record what occurred at B's end, how I come to know? Correct, I have sent the goods. So now it is my goods only, but you have to sell on behalf of me, that's it. So now whatever happens there, how I come to know? How I come to know? Correct, I look out all the things here, what uh, A will do, what B will do. So B will, here B, so he will sell the goods, correct? He will sell the goods. He will sell the goods. All transactions will occur at all transactions will occur. Transactions will occur at B. He will sell the goods or whatever it might be. So something whatever occurred uh, at B's end. So B has to inform to A. Correct? At a periodical intervals. So that is, I will send the goods in one month time. I will give it in one month whatever you did, how much you sold, etc., etc. This details you have to. That's a B has to inform to A. Correct. So therefore, that time that is a document for the reporting. So the document which is sent sent from B to A, sent from B to A is called as account sale. Is called as account sale. Is called as account sale. Yeah, not short form account. It should be full form account. Account sale. Correct. Account sale. Now look out a document sent by consignee to consignor. Consignor for reporting. For reporting the transactions occurred at his end or transactions affected as his end is called as account sale. Yeah. The, 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 the document sent by consignor to consignee on transfer of goods is called as pro forma invoice. The document sent by or statement sent by uh, consignee to consignor uh, as a periodical interval is called as account sale. Account sale. Sir, in this account sale, what now will be there? Correct? Uh? So, number one, number one, how much is goods received? Goods received. So, that means look out. So, I have sent the goods. Correct? Uh? So, I have sent the goods. So, I even here, and a thousand goods, I am saying that a thousand units I have sent. But here, suppose B has received, for example, thousand units if he received, fine. Correct. Suppose if it is only 950 is received, only 950 is received, that means I can find goods received in order to verify loss in transit. What for? What for this information? In order to inform the consignor about, look out, I don't know how much you sent, but I received only 950. Correct. So that means as a consignor, I will reconcile how much units I sent. Suppose if I sent 1000 units and, I, and he received only 
times 50 means so balance 50 is somewhere in this transit somewhat that haryana punjabi wala has stolen the goods correct so bale bale dance like that next so this is first is uh, goods received first is goods received how much how, how much goods i received that i will tell second one how much sales 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 sale of goods or goods sold goods sold so units so how much goods i sold that i will tell correct so out of this whether it's a credit sale or cash sale that uh, let us take the decision later yeah now sales so after sales how much is uh, expenses how much is expenses how expenses what he incurred either it's a direct or indirect direct expense or indirect expense direct or indirect expense both direct or indirect expense both so what is his expense he will tell next uh, number 4 so what is his commission what is his commission correct so that commission what are the types of these are the things what we are going to discuss how much is com his commission that he will uh, inform in that statement so in account sales he will inform this is what my commission i have taken so that he will say then uh, then number 5 if any security deposit security deposit uh, deposit if any that means if consignee has already look, look out here it is not like related party and all so a is one person b is one person so he can be outsider also correct so because since i am sending the goods to you so to sell on behalf of uh, me so suppose if 1 lakh worth of goods i am giving to you to sell correct suppose after the after uh, making a sale if you abscond correct so it's a finance matter so therefore sometimes so consignor may ask from b to give a security deposit of some part of the amount either 25% or 50000 in advance he has to deposit he have to give the deposit so that's we call it as security deposit correct so when uh, the goods are sold actually for 1 lakh he can set off that he can set off that because already 50000 suppose if it is given as security deposit 1 lakh worth of goods you if you sold so 1 lakh rupees belongs to me correct out of that you set off that 50000 balance 50000 if you pay that is sufficient that's all that's what security deposit correct security deposit next number 6 security deposit so closing stock closing stock of units closing stock of units so how many uh, closing stock is there so because this will help for me to uh, value the closing stock what is the valuation of closing stock so for that purpose it is required correct so this closing stock also uh, really very much important also in order to check me in order to check in order to check loss and valuation valuation of stock so sir why loss because we got i have received 950 units for example there itself already 50 units lost correct and closing stock look out out of 950 i have to get complete the details it has to tally how much goods were sold suppose out of 950 imagine 500 units were sold that means still 450 should be there correct suppose if he says only 400 units are there that means there is a loss of another 50 units so which is at uh consignee end after reaching consignee 50 units has been gone correct so like this in order to check that closing stock is required and finally my difference and finally number 71 so balance so balance uh deposited balance deposited to uh consignor consignor this is what uh dd or check whatever it might be the balance deposited either dd or check whatever is there so that we have given to uh, consignor so this is what i have given so this are the information b will mention in that account sales account sales which is sent by b to a b to a correct now once uh, consignor receives this statement then he comes to know that if you look out whatever he incur the expenditure all already he is ready with this correct once he receive account sales now uh, what are happened for that he will pass the entry for that he will pass the entry got it so this how it will run this how it will run yeah so as of now do you have any doubts my dear friends as of now do you have any doubts no sir no, no sir. the document sent by consignor to consignee is called as a form of invoice very good so document sent by consignee to consignor is consignor on periodic intervals account, account sales so contents of account sales Goods received, sale, expenditure, commission, security deposit, closing stock, stock balance, 
closing stock and amount to deposited balance deposited correct so now when we go for entries for this only in this suppose we have to pass so now now let us go for discussion of special transactions my dear friends now let us go for discussion now what are special transactions in this case special transactions special transaction Special transaction that is uh, beyond general entry because it's a revision class. Otherwise, I would have first given general entries. Thereafter, I would have gone for that special uh, transaction analysis. But here, since you already aware of little bit general entries, so therefore, special transaction first. Let me discuss the theoretical aspect. Then I will go for general entry and uh, supporting the problems. Now, special transaction. So first, special transaction is my turn about commission. About commission. Second transaction is about. Uh, valuation of stock valuation of stock valuation of stock next uh, so third transaction is about uh, valuation of loss loss valuation of loss valuation of loss yeah these are the three things what you have to understand if you understand these three things from my defense in a consignment you can do wonderful things these three things that's all yeah now let us start with each and every one explanation to start with to start with to start with first let us go for uh, commission first let us go for commission so in a commission my defense in a commission uh, we have Three types of commission. In a commission, how many types we have? Three types of commission. In a commission, we have three types. In a commission, three types. One is ordinary commission. Ordinary commission. One is ordinary commission. Ordinary commission. Another one is Del Creda Del Creda Commission. Third one is Overriding Overriding Commission. Del Creda Commission and Overriding Commission. Del Creda Commission and Overriding Commission. Yeah. Now Sir, what is this uh, ordinary commission? Correct. Uh, drop an arrow, write down. It is a commission to be payable. It is a commission to be payable. Commission, commission to be payable on total sale. On total sale. On total sale. Total sale. On total sale. Full stop. Full stop. Continue. It is a normal commission. It is a normal commission. Commission to be payable to consignee. Consignee as a remuneration. As a remuneration. Yeah. Now. So, what is the relationship between consign and consignee? Agency relationship. Agency relationship. So, if he is an agent, I have to pay him commission or not? Yes, sir. Therefore, if the problem is silent, if the problem is silent, commission means ordinary commission. Are you understanding? Yes, sir. That's why we have used the word. This is a normal commission payable to consignee. But it has to be paid on total sale. Keep in mind, total sale. Whatever be how much sales he made on that sales, I have to pay the uh, commission. I have to pay the commission. Next, Del Credar commission. Del Credar commission. Correct. Huh? Now, let us understand the situation. Then let us go for explanation. Now, who will make the sale, my dear friends? Consignee. Consignee will make the sale. So, who is the owner? Consignor. Consignor. So that means when you, when someone is selling, someone is selling. So it is someone's goods. So someone is selling. So will he take all the responsibility? No. 
No, because are someone's good. So what is there? Correct? Huh? So that's what either credit sale also someone comes, so he will also he will give because look out. Suppose if I allow credit, if I allow credit, so I don't know uh, who is that customer also, who is that party who has purchased also because who knows? Kanzani knows that for whom he has sold the goods. Correct? Huh? Suppose if we default, suppose if we default, so finally what Kanzani will say, Are, I don't know, yeah, it is, it is uh, your responsibility because I'm just an agent. Correct? Huh? You sent the you sent the goods, I have sold, that's all. If he pays, I will pay to you. Correct? If you don't pay, that's up to you because risk and reward you have to pay. Correct? Huh? So that is a title. Even though goods are transferred, the real owner is consignor only. Title will not be transferred in case of consignment. Yeah, even though goods are laying with consignee, so that's what yesterday in the stock reconstruction I said, it is our goods laying with, even since it is laying with our agent, it is laying with customer, that's how it is been, uh, accounted. So therefore, so the title will not be transferred to the other party, title will not be transferred, that's a damn sure. Got it? Title will not be transferred. So therefore, I am the, I am given the owner. But here, since I don't know for whom you have uh, sold, whether it's a good customer or uh, defaulting customer, who, who knows, correct? Or even it's for uncredit, undue credit, uh, undue credit uh, uh, what we call influence. So you may find, you may sold the goods to your relative itself, then you might have said, uh, it's a default, it's a bad debt, he has not paid. Correct? Ultimately, I'm going to suffer. So therefore, so what I do, I won't, usually I do, I won't allow uh, credit sale. Yeah, so that's what in ordinary commission. So usually for ordinary commission, it will be cash and carry only. Normal concept will run, will run, correct? So whatever sales you make on that, I will give this commission. That's what ordinary commission. But so for everyone, uh, profit that's the income is required, correct? So therefore, in order to increase the sales, so consignee suppose if he says, look out, if we allow credit, then only we can make a sale because if we increase, if we sales is increased, automatically his commission will increase. Correct? So therefore, if he gives a suggestion like that, so please consign up, please allow me to allow me to make a credit sale. So that at least uh, we, we can increase the sales so that a profit also for you and also commission also for me. Correct? So in return, I said, in return as a container, I said, yeah, look out. Yeah, you can go ahead for uh, credit sale. You can go ahead for credit sale, but condition is, but condition is, suppose if you make a credit sale, and out of that, out of that, if any bad debt occurred, you have to bear. If any bad debt occurred, you have to bear. Correct? Because on total, whether it's a cash or credit sale, on total sale, either I am giving ordinary commission. Ordinary commission I am giving. Correct? So now, here, if you ask for credit sale, so I am attaching in return condition is what? On account of credit sale, if any default occurs, who has to bear? Risk of bad debt? Consign has to bear. Consign has to bear if that condition, if he agrees for that condition, so I will I will allow him to make a credit sale. Correct? So if I am ready to take uh, I am ready to take the that uh, that risk, then uh, his help is not required. So much of speaking is not required. I can say, okay, cash or credit, you do it. Because anyway, I'm going to give only ordinary commission. Correct? Whether you make a cash or credit, whatever sales come, risk comes, I will take it. So you don't worry, you proceed. In that case, only ordinary commission. But suppose uh, risk of bad debt, suppose if uh, the customer don't pay, so that I should be safe. I should be in a safer zone, correct? Or this default things I have to uh, shoulder on consignee. Then only what will happen? He will also get some responsibility. Suppose if one customer not pays, so he has to pay out of his pocket, correct? If we have shouldered that responsibility, if we shouldered that responsibility, if we shouldered that responsibility, then he will get a little bit scary and he will do normally. Correct? He will be, he will act as responsible person. So that time, so in order to promote the credit sale for him, correct? So we have asked that condition, but in return he said, okay, then I will take the risk of bad debt, but for that additional risk, you have to pay additional commission. Over and above normal commission, you have to pay additional commission for the credit sales which I make. Correct? Then we agreed, okay, fine. We will give so for that because anyway you are taking the risk suppose if it is a default so you have to pay so therefore since it is at least to give some commission so let us secure in our uh, debt portion so therefore in order to promote credit sale if commission is given then it is called as del credar commission drop an arrow drop an arrow write down it is a commission it is a commission given commission given 
in addition to ordinary commission in addition to ordinary commission to promote to promote credit sale to promote credit sale and 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 to transfer and to transfer risk of bad debt risk of bad debt to consignee 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 correct ah full stop full stop next point next point another same thing this commission is to be calculated this commission is to be calculated this commission is to be calculated generally generally underline the word generally 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 on on credit sales affected on credit sales affected credit sales affected yeah <coughs> that's it come to third part of commission third part of commission drop an arrow yeah third part so third part my friends please understand <coughs> so third part overriding commission correct ah overriding means for example here i asked consignee i asked uh, consignee i asked consignee there is a consignor is saying without i am sending the goods at 100 this is what cost correct ah so i said you to sell that this is consignee b i said cost whatever is there for the 25 rupees you add and at 125 you sell Correct? I asked him to sell at one twenty-five. Correct? If you sell at one twenty-five, on that anyway, normally whatever the sales you make at whatever be the price, you will get that commission. That is ordinary. Suppose out of that, if if you have make a risk of bad debt and uh, credit sales, if you have promote, in order to promote the credit sale and to transfer risk of bad debt, so their credit commission will be given on the credit sale. Correct? But suppose here, look out. If you make a sale on that extra commission, we will give. Correct? Now, I asked you to sell at one twenty-five. But suppose if you have a skill to sell for more than one twenty-five, for example, let us say at one fifty rupees you sold, at one fifty rupees you sold. I asked to sell at one twenty-five, but you have the skill to sell that product at even more than price. Correct? Like you people, one bakra came. So uh, the moment I said one twenty-five, but uh, you started what uh, uncle uncle what is the price? Correct? Shopkeeper. So he said uh, it is two hundred. So then, no, 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 sir. It is heavy. It is that, and all bargaining over. Finally, at one fifty, uh, uh, you inter intersected. Then uh, sale affected at one uh, fifty. Correct? Ah. So now what happened? So you were at least fifty rupees bargaining. So you were happy. But in meanwhile, I am also happy because my price even hundred rupees a cost. Consignor asked to ask to sell at one twenty five. But even uh, even I could able to sell at twenty twenty five rupees extra. Correct? Ah. Now here look out. Anyway, up to one twenty five. It is my normal uh, information. That extra twenty five rupees, what you made, it is because of your skill and competence. That is a consign is skill and competence. Correct? Ah. It is your uh, capability. So therefore, in order to give look out, if I promote, if I if I promote that interest, what will happen? So you know, for all the customer, whenever whenever is possible, you will try to make sell at more than my cost price. So that time, so because of this, what I thought only twenty five rupees profit, but now you are getting fifty rupees plus twenty five rupees profit. Correct? Ah. Therefore, out of this extra sales beyond the stipulated price. Beyond some price, whatever fixing point, I I I I I fix one price. If you could able to make a sale more than that, out of that extra sale, additional sale, correct? On that whatever commission I give, because if I don't give the commission, so he will not make the sale at that price, correct? Are if I make a sale in extra also, uh, I will not get anything more. So therefore, let it be at one point. The word is there for. Correct. Suppose if I give small commission, small incentive. Suppose if I give, if I promote him, so what he will get? So he will get the interest to make an additional sale, so that he will he will show the interest to make a sale more than invoice price, so that whatever he make that will be a profit for me. Correct. Therefore, out of that profit, something I will give. So that commission, what we what we call it as overriding commission. Yeah, drop an arrow right down. Overriding commission. It is a commission payable 
it is a commission payable on it is a commission payable on on additional sale additional sale within bracket extra sale within bracket extra sale affected extra sale affected over and above specified price over and above specified price over and above specified price of consignor of consignor yeah so that might be you might have said uh, above cost whatever you make the sale on that i will give or uh, above invoice price i will give or one uh, price you will fix it. that price we have to take beyond that price what the sales he make on the extra sales or not on total sale on extra sale yeah on extra sale only this commission correct huh? so this overheading commission is on extra sale extra sale over specified specified price correct huh? write a note under this chart write a note under this chart very important so it will get disconnected in one minute so therefore write a note unless otherwise specified all the commission to be payable on total sale write it first unless otherwise specifies unless otherwise specifies unless otherwise specifies all commission all commission to be payable on total sale all commission to be payable on total sale only 